Jean. I'm Claire and I work with the Shrewsbury Youth Mission Team in Parish of St Maximum, Colby and Runcorn and St Philip Nero in Birkenhead and it's great to welcome you today. Today is the 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Let's begin by making the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we'll also light our candle to remind us that Jesus is with us. How did you get on making your dove last week? Did you manage to hang it somewhere? Did you feel the Holy Spirit with you in extra special this week? But it's great to know that the Holy Spirit is always with us. In today's Gospel, we hear about some laws and traditions of the Jewish people. But do they do them too much? Listen to what Jesus has to tell them, as he tells them a very strong message. So let's get ready to listen to Sinead read our gospel today as we have our thumbs ready to make the sign of the cross on our forehead as we think about the words of God on our lips as we speak the words of God and our hearts as we love the words of God. A reading from the gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One day the Pharisees noticed that some of the disciples of Jesus had not washed properly before eating. It was the Jewish custom to wash up to the elbows before eating, and there were many other rules about washing and cleaning that they strictly obeyed. So they asked Jesus, why do you ignore our customs and eat your food with unclean hands? Jesus answered, Isaiah was right, and he foretold of your hypocrisy. You have made the laws of men more important than the laws of God. Listen to me. It is not what goes into a person that makes them unclean, but what comes out of that person. Ordinary dirt cannot make our hearts and lives unclean. Only wicked words, thoughts and actions can do this, because they came from the heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Keep what Jesus said in your head for later on, because we'll come back to it then. Is it important to keep your hands clean? It's important to wash your hands before you eat. Of course it is, it's to stop the spreading of germs. But the Pharisees weren't just doing that to stop spreading germs, they were doing it to show that they were good people. And they complained because Jesus didn't wash his hands before he ate. They were angry with him because he was ignoring a Jewish law that they had. And they considered it to be of great importance in their lives to please God and to show this by following all these laws, one of which was washing hands before eating. Was Jesus happy with what they were saying? No, he wasn't. He called them hypocrites. That meant that they were saying things and not doing something at the same time. So they were saying, you need to be clean well, it's not just our hands and our physical bodies that need to be clean, it is our hearts that needed to be clean. Washing their hands and showing they were good that way didn't always mean that they were getting closer to God in relationship because their hearts weren't getting closer to God in their relationship. So they were doing one thing and showing people to wash their hands and to do that, but not always being good inside their hearts and saying good things and doing good things. So Jesus had to remind them of that. Is that what you heard Sinead say? He said, clean hands don't always necessarily mean clean hearts. And we want to please God. We want to do things that he would like us to do in our lives. To show them, to show everybody that we love God and we love the way he taught us to live and we want to be like him and to follow him. So we have to remember that it's not always things we do on the outside that make us pleasing to God. It's how we feel and what we do on the inside too. So we have to have clean hearts as well as clean hands to please God. What do you think are some of the things that we could do to please God? That's right, there's so many things we could do. We could read our Bible a little bit more. We could share, we could help people. We can give things to charity, we could be money or toys or clothes, 
There's so much we can do in our world today to be pleasing to God. So to remind us of some of these things, we're going to make our own heart, clean heart, a pleasing thing to God. So you'll need some paper, red if you've got it, if not you can do whatever colour you want to decorate it. I decided to hang mine, so I've got some string, you need some scissors and some pens. So, first thing we're going to do is cut out our heart. And I found the easiest way to do it is to fold a piece of paper in half. Draw half of the heart shape. So then, when we cut it, we get the heart and it's the same on each side. some of the things we can do this week that will be pleasing to God. Things. Pleasing. Two. Another tap on my heart. And you can think of as many things as you want to. Kind words. Helping others. as many as you want to on there. And then, put a little hole, very, very carefully, I'm going to pencil just a quick a little hole in the middle of my heart there. So, ah, you're very careful, you probably need a little to help you with that. And then you can add some strings on. And you can hang it somewhere to remind you to do some of these good things that are pleasing to God this week. is important but we've also got to remember we've got to have a good clean heart to please God too. Right, put your string through, tie a knot and it's ready to hang in your room by your door so you see as you go out to remember to do these good things each day. So you can really try hard and to be extra pleasing to God this week and remember to do some of the things you've written on your clean heart. Let us end in prayer. Loving Father, as we follow in the footsteps of Christ, help us to keep faithful to you always. Help us to keep clean hearts this week and to always be pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's been great to join you again this week, and I look forward to welcoming you next time. Don't forget to send us your pictures of your clean heart. You can send them to the Shrewsbury Youth email, or to tag us in Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.